Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for the 20th to the 26th. Now I concentrate on love, but love doesn't always come up, so we'll see what happens. We're going to get two of these and then we're going to break into that tarot deck. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading may not be yours, okay? It may not be for you. So if it's not, just let it go, okay? Um, we'll see what is coming up. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. A lot of people are getting this card. Taurus got the card. Scorpio got the card. And I think Cancer. I'm not sure. Um, stay optimistic. You have to think positive, right? Oh, wonderful. I love it. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Wonderful. And that's, I believe it. I do. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, Virgo. I have to move these over just a little bit. make a decision there may be some indecision do you stay or do you go which path do you go down which door do you go through <laughs> it feels as though there is a, you have a choice between two options okay that's what it looks like right off the bat you may have some fear of change but change is needed okay it could be dealing with a cancer okay it's like there's a need to master your emotions and move forward but you may be stopping the process I see a lack of discipline here dead end situation somebody may be watching you you may be watching them um, you may try be trying to avoid any conflicts in your life right now but you could be receiving some messages even internal messages or a message one message from somebody that is undesirable maybe you hear some undesirable news um, This page of swords is, is difficulty in communication, so, or difficult communication coming in. This is taking a break. You may decide that you just need to take a break. Maybe you hear something or you think something that makes you decide, you know, I need to take a time out. I need to take a time out. I need to halt first. I need, I need to just hold up. That's what it looks like to me. It's like you guys are probably at a stance or at a place of indecision that's for darn sure um you could be dealing with an aries sometimes i consider this a capricorn as well but this could be any man that is very um just okay this person is very mature very wise very um, dominant. This guy is a, is a very good protector. Could be any sign taking on. Could be cancer taking on this energy. Could be anybody. I feel like whoever this is that you're dealing with is very structured and organized. Or maybe it's even you taking on this energy of trying to keep structure in your life. There is an opportunity, an unexpected choice in love though. So I do believe that you have an unexpected choice in love with somebody. There's probably a divine connection. There's probably an instant attraction. Again, it could be with a Cancer. It could be with an Aries. It could be with a Gemini. I don't know. But um, I f it could be with any other sign as well. But that's what we have right here. It's like right now you may, you may feel like you can't be together with this person because of some kind of conflict. It could be an internal conflict or external. But there's something in the way from you being together with this person perhaps. Maybe not. But this, there is an opportunity for a soulmate connection here. And it could be quite unexpected that this person is your soulmate. All of a sudden you realize, like, this could be the one. This, this really could be the one. This person, whoever this person is could, could, is, could be the one that comes in and heals you. Helps you to heal from something that left you feeling empty and lost inside. So, yeah, I think that... 
there is an offer of love. That's for darn sure. There's relationship growth here either way. It's like you guys are go some sort of truth or re a revelation or is coming coming out. It's like this could be a reconciliation as well for some of you. It could be a reconciliation. Maybe somebody wants another chance or you're being called to give somebody new a chance. Give them a chance. Okay, somebody could be asking for another chance after something had already ended. Just saying, but I feel like you know this is a this is typically the lovers card is typically somebody new. It's when you think you think you know that somebody is the one, but that somebody is not the one. Somebody else is actually the one. That's typically what the lovers card is. It's when you have an unexpected choice in love with somebody that you didn't expect. And this person is not your usual type. You didn't even think that, that this was going to be the one, but it is the one, okay? So they're being called perhaps to give it a chance, okay? Maybe you have to release this dead-end situation that you have been connected to. And, you know, you, you need to stop playing that game and let this, this relationship grow. So that could certainly be the case. So let me just get this focused in. Either way, it feels as though there is an opportunity for love here, okay? There is. And it, it, the thing is, that, is that you need to let go of the power struggles. This is the five of wands. You need to let go of that internal conflict, okay, about being together with somebody. Maybe that's where this conflict comes from. Maybe it's internally. It's like, geez, I'm crying. I don't know if I want this or not. You know, I, I do. I do want it. I do. But there's a lot of um, inner conflict. There really is. Just want to get some clarifiers here. I want to know about this emperor. The this is there's a lack of well, there could be fear. This is fear, fear of this man. Are you afraid of somebody? Oh goodness. Yeah, nine of cups reverse. This is like I'm I'm afraid to start something new. I'm afraid to. open this door it's like you may not feel abundant with who you are maybe you're afraid to allow this wish to come to fruition it's protection he's protective this is protection you're protecting your heart there is a, some indecision about going down this new path and somebody is in protection mode thinking negative and that's where this positive thinking comes in positive thinking faith will bring your romance negative thinking somebody doesn't feel like they are good enough or abundant enough they're being offered something that is good because the sun upright or reversed is is a good option but i think somebody's pride has been hurt and has caused them to to shut down. To have their guard up. <laughs> the death card reversed. This is um, holding on. Holding on and it's getting old. Holding on to perhaps the past. The negative thinking. The lack of wish fulfillment, holding, and this is lack. These are both lack. The nine of the nine of cups and the chariot reverse, holding on to the lack, the fears, the fears of lack, the fears of opening your heart, holding on to that, not allowing this new beginning to blossom with the death reverse. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. There is that could bring happiness, but. <sighs> Oh my goodness, now we have the tower card. This is a rude awakening, and it is a rude awakening when you when you meet your soulmate. It's definitely a freaking rude awakening because that's a change life changing. So whatever is happening is causing a major life change. These are I mean look at the majors right here all together. Boop boop oh, look at this. Okay. Judgment, tower, sun, death, chariot, lovers, all major. Okay? This is a major life-changing event right here. It is. Which is bringing you a blessing.
but you're going to have to let something die. Okay, this is a death. This is a death too. He's on a common. It is. Something needs to go. And it could just be negative thinking. It could be protection. The emperor too is a major. Okay, so we got a shitload of majors here. So somebody is is really being given a a new opportunity in which they are trying to Oh, I think protect themselves from getting hurt. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody has had to fight really, really hard. And they are wounded from the past. And therefore, they're thinking negative about a new beginning with somebody that you are probably soulfully connected to. But... This is a major awakening. This is a major wake-up call. This is the truth being revealed. You are being given a very truthful, honest, powerful connection. You are. And you're going to have to find your confidence and your courage and your strength to just allow it to go with it. To follow your passion. This person thinks that you are very, very attractive. They want, they have love to offer you. Somebody is offering you something that is love. And you're going to have to regain your focus and your concentration and think positive, not negative. Let go of those negative thoughts. Because now you're caught. The, the, the fact of the matter is, is that the truth is revealed. The truth is revealed that you could be falling in love with somebody new. Or somebody, it could even be a reconciliation. Like I said, there's love here. And it's like, it's not something you can deny. You can't deny it. It's undeniable. This is the middle part. I mean, come on now. That is the whole basis of your reading, the lovers. This is undeniable love connection. And this person is going to help you heal. And I'm not sure if I told you that or somebody else had been doing readings. But this person is going to help you heal from the past hurt, from, from the deception that you've encountered. This person is very wise with that emperor card. Whoever you're dealing with has a lot of life experience and a lot of wisdom behind their back. And I feel like this person is going to help you to, to end a difficult time that you have been in. But I can see the indecision here. You're very indecisive. You've, you're, you're, you're teetering. You're going back and forth. But... There's an opportunity. This guy has good intentions. It's probably a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, And you may have a choice between two because we have these twos. So you may have a choice between two people. And I feel like you do have a choice between two people. And whoever this person is, they do have good intentions. They have good intentions for love. And there's an opportunity for a major new beginning. One lesson has been learned when the world card comes out. And now it's time to work on the next one. It's time to work on the next, you know, chapter of your life. So this is the last card in the deck. This is the, the, the end of a, with the three of swords underneath reverse. It's the end of a difficult time. It's the end of struggle. It's the end of deception. And there's an opportunity for somebody to help you heal and move on to a wonderful, loving, stable con connection. Where there's mutual love. I mean, there's a, it's a soulmate connection. That's what it looks like to me. But you have to let go. You have to let go and you have to face the conflict and you have to face your fears. Okay? You do have to face your fears. So, I feel like wherever, wherever you're at, there's no victory and success. And by you hindering and halting and, and staying in a dead-end situation, whatever that is, maybe it's even in your thoughts, thinking negative, negatively, you know, there's a lack of, of self-confidence here. You need to let that go. Let go of that wounded warrior mentality and just allow this new beginning to happen.
Somebody wants you to give them a chance. Somebody wants to have a relationship with you. And there you are, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. So I feel like this is a time of contemplation, as usual, Virgo, about allowing this magnetic attraction to grow. So yeah, I believe that there's an opportunity. You are probably receiving an offer of love, a message of love, or messages of love. And you are becoming consciously aware of what you want. Whoever this person is, they do have good intentions. And you should accept this offer. This is a genuine offer of love. I feel like it's a, it's, it is, it, it is. It is, it is, it is. So Virgo, you have new love and you should think positive and you should allow it. I think it could be with a water sign. Could be with a fire sign, but that's what I have. Talk to you later.